Okay, next is a uh, new subtopic is energy on conservation of energy. So based on this 4.2 a, you can now define and use what is the gravitational potential energy, elastic potential energy, force spring, and kinetic energy. So sebelum you belajar semua benda ni, you can now dulu lah what is mean by energy. So energy is defined as the system ability to do work. So dia lah scalar pro, uh, scalar quantity. So two types of the mechanical energy. Yes, maksudnya kita punya syllabus adalah based on mechanical energy. So mechanical energy ada dua, potential energy dengan kinetic energy. So potential energy you belajar dua benda lah, gravitational potential energy and elastic potential energy for spring. Okay, next. Okay. What is mechanical energy? Dia adalah sum of kinetic energy and potential energy in an object that is used to do work. So, equal to K plus with U. Okay, so based on kinetic energy, dia adalah energy of a body due to its motion. Ada pergerakan, ada kinetic energy. So, based on uh, these terms, dia tahu dia punya formula come out with K equal to half mv square where m is mass, v is speed lah. Okay. Alright, so next is potential energy. Uh, terbagi kepada dua lah. Gravitational potential energy is based on the energy stored in the body system because of its position. So, ada position ketinggian apa sekalipun ketinggian dia, dia akan ada gravitational potential energy. So, by given formula of U equal to mgh lah. Kg adalah acceleration due to gravity. Make sure you masuk nilai G adalah nilai sahaja eh. Ah uh, 9.81. So H tu adalah height from the ground lah. Okay, so next ah uh, let's see kalau macam ni height from the ground. So height dia 5. Dia ada potential energy. Ball ni ada potential energy. Okay, next elastic. Okay, elastic potential energy for spring. Dia adalah energy store in an elastic material as the result of their stretching or Ataupun compressing lah So ni adalah contoh dia lah In equilibrium position X dia kosong Tapi bila once kita gerakkan box ni ke depan So dia akan mengalami restoring force Yang akan opposite direction of displacement X lah uh, Okay So based on this kita tahulah Elastic potential US is equal to half kx square Also equal to half fxx Fs X. Maksudnya Fs ni adalah restoring force lah Dan selalunya kita jarang lah tulis Fs Kita tulis F je lah Tapi awak tahu lah dia adalah restoring force So X is a compression ataupun extension of the spring Kalau X uh, compress ke extension ke You punya nilai X tu you just bubur positive value saja, Bubur dia punya magnitude je Alright, next is Hooke's Law. Okay, Hooke's Law state that the restoring force Fs of spring is directly proportional to the amount of stretch or compression ataupun kita panggil nama lain ni extension or elongation F is the limits of the proportionality is not exceed. Jadi, kalau tengok kat sini Okay, macam saya cakap tadi lah restoring force always oppose the motion lah. Okay. Okay, dia, sebab tu kalau kita tengok dia punya Hooke's Law Dia kata Fs is equal to negative Kx Negative sign indicates that the direction of Fs Is always opposite to the direction of X ha, Tapi dalam kiraan kita boleh ignore saja. Okay, so kalau graph F versus X tu uh, Gradient of the graph tu adalah spring constant lah Dan tapi dia mesti proportional Proportional lah maksudnya dia kena tegak Kalau dah sengit tu maksudnya awak punya spring constant Sampai sini sajalah Eh, yang belakang dah tak tak valid dah Hooke's law dia. Okay, so area under the graph represent work done to stretch ataupun compress the spring. Okay, now kita nak use uh, gravitational potential energy, elastic potential energy and kinetic potential energy. Kenapa penting? Sebab semua tiga benda ni you mungkin akan kena belajar atau kena tahulah dalam next subtopic is about... Uh, Conservation of energy and work energy theorem. Okay, jadi kena tahu betul-betul lah apa function setiap satu. Okay, so ni simple je lah. Calculate the kinetic energy of a bus. So, boleh tahu lah bus berat dia. Mass dia adalah 5,000 kg and dia moving dengan 30 meter per second. So, calculate kinetic energy dia. Substitute the value all of this. You will get 2.25 times 10 to power of uh, 6. Okay, next, calculate the gravitational potential energy of a ball. 
So awak tampak ball duduk pada satu height 5 meter So you just kira lah U equal to mgh lah uh, So you dapat lah uh, Gravitational potential energy Okay next is uh, Calculate elastic potential potential energy of a spring If spring constant K is 5 newton per meter And extension is x equal to 0.3 meter So substitute all the value By using equation of Elastic potential energy US is equal to half kx square. Okay, masukkan nilai K. K itu spring constant. So, X is 0.3 power of 2 lah. So, you will get 0.225 joule. Okay, next example. We have a spring of length 10 cm is extended to 12 cm where a 50 gram mass is suspended at one end. Okay, maksudnya mungkin initially dia tak ada lagi lah benda ni. So, saya tak payah lukis lah kat sini. Okay. So, bila dia gantung uh, 50 gram mass, dia suspended at one end uh, pada 2 c 12 cm lah. So, kat sini awak tahulah extension dia adalah 12 cm. Eh, sorry, extension dia adalah 2 cm. Okay. Dan inilah bentuk force dia. Di mana awak kena tahu restoring force Fs sama dengan Mg. Sebab waktu dia dah, dah expand Dia tak berenjut dah Maksudnya tak ada acceleration dah okay? Jadi dia static kat situ Jadi kat sini awak boleh tahulah Yang Fs ni sebenarnya equal to Mg Sebab dia suspended kan Okay suspended means tergantung Kalau dia dekat horizontal so Horizontal tak adalah Mg tu kan ha, Macam tu lah So ni F sama dengan Kx Based on formula Hooke's law So F is equal to Mg So daripada sini awak masukkan nilai M Ah, kena tukar dalam kilogram eh So type, type uh, times with uh, gravity And then dia punya extension dia Okay dia punya beza dia lah Dia punya extension pemanjangan spring is 2 times 10 to power of negative 2 lah Sebab 2 cm tukar kepada meter So K is 24.5 newton per meter Macam tu lah Okay next nak energy store in the spring You just guna formula energy store lah US U S is equal to Okay Half K S square Okay masuk je nilai Then you akan dapat 4.9 kali 10 Negatif 3 Joule Okay Alright so next Ni ada simple je lah An object of mass 20 gram Is moving at a velocity of 30 meter per second Calculate the kinetic energy of the object <laughs> Okay ni kinetic energy So masuk je lah dalam formula Dapatlah nilai dia 9 joule 